Mid-torque wrenches outperformed everything else that we've had. For the weight of the mid-torque, when we first grabbed the mid-torque to use it, obviously didn't expect nearly the amount of torque that we've gotten out of it. It's been very nice. Everything that we needed to do, it does and has power to spare. I use it for tires, suspension, brakes, transmission work, um, some heavy engine repair. It was very shocking for such a compact tool to have the power that it does. It has more power than some of the bigger units that are out there by the other brands. It's nice knowing that when you tighten something down that that thing's got the power and you can walk away from it knowing that it's secured. Since the tool is shorter, I find it being able to get into more spots that I can't get in with the bigger high torque one, not having to need as many swivels or extensions. The Milwaukee Fuel mid-torque, I'm able to cut my time in half by not using my air impact wrench. You can just go out there and get it done quicker because of the core lift capability that it has. The fuel mid-torque, like most Milwaukee tools, is really durable. I also like that the mid-torque has three power settings. The weight does make it more efficient, just because you're not lugging around that extra weight. It is a lot easier to maneuver to get in areas. Fuel mid-torque is lightweight and compact where you can keep it on you. You can carry it with you on a lift or a ladder. It's geared definitely for long-term, heavy-duty use. It's just well-made, tough, and it does anything we ask of it. You grab that tool in your tool cart for the day, and that's the only impact that you need. So for what we do in the automotive industry, this is by far the best impact tool that I have used under all circumstances. <laughs>